Hey guys, and welcome to Jira's Crazy World. And if you haven't guessed by now, I'm Jira, duh. And I am coming at you guys today with a story time, okay? So sit back, relax, and enjoy. This story happened to me while I was in undergrad. So it was just a couple of years ago. And everybody knows that you do stupid stuff in college. That's the point of college. To live and to learn and to do stupid stuff with your friends. You know, doing things I won't remember with the people I won't forget. Shout out Drake. So as you guys read the title, this is the time that I got dropped off on the side of the road and left for dead. Nah. Not left for dead, but I got kicked out of a car on the side of the road. So, what happened was, there was a huge party coming up on campus. Everybody was talking about it. Everybody had bought their tickets. And it seemed like everybody was going to be there except me. I did not want to go. The reason why I did not want to go is because it was thrown by a fraternity that my ex happened to be a member of. So I didn't want to go see him. We had just broke up. Well, not just broke up, but we were broken up by then. And he was like my high school sweetheart. So of course, you know, you're going to always have those feelings for them. Not no more, but at that time, you know, I still had feelings for him. He had to get him a new, a new girlfriend. So I was low key, you know, kind of not feeling that and we just weren't friends we did not talk after the breakup we had nothing to talk about nothing to say to each other so and this was like our last official official breakup so my best friend dj wanted to go to this party so i didn't want to go to the party but she kept begging me kept kept begging me like Girl, forget him. You should just go. Have you a good time. It's going to be so much fun. Everybody's going to be there. So I finally let her convince me. And I was like, all right, cool. I will go to the party. So as we're prepping for this party, because the party was hosted in the woods. It was supposed to be the secret, secluded location that nobody knew where it was. Nobody knew where it was going to be at. And it was going to be outdoors. So we, me, DJ, and Peaches, which was another one of our friends, we all went to Walmart to get camel packs. So camel packs are these book bags that you use while you're hiking. And the inside it has like this plastic clear kind of cooler like material for you to put water in so while you're hiking your water is like in your book bag you have the straps have like a straw so that way it was like you didn't have to walk around carrying your water so we got those and it's finally the day of the party we go and get ready i got on my little shorts you feel me? I used to wear my natural hair, so I had to press my hair out real straight. I had on my boots because I was like, yeah, I'm ready to dance. So we made like some kind of concoction, we called it. But we mixed all kind of crazy liquor together to make a drink. And each one of us had a camel pack, which included two liters of liquor on the inside. So, boom, we ready to go. So in order to get there, you had to meet at the student union and there they had school buses that was going to take the people to the secluded area and take them back, bring them back on campus after the party was over. So by the time we got there, the buses were already filled. It was no more space. So we had to literally wait. I don't know how long it was going to take. For them to drop those kids off to the party and then come back and pick up the rest of us. So we ended up getting lucky because one of my homegirls were there and she was like, forget this. I'm not waiting for the bus. I'm going to just drive. Do y'all want to ride with me? And we can just follow the school buses out there. So I'm like, heck yeah. Cool. Let's go. 
So, boom, we all get in her car. We get out there. Once we get there, I'm like, hey, text me before you leave so that we can all leave together. She was like, sure. So, as soon as I get there, who do I see? My ex-boyfriend, Jackson. I didn't say anything to him. He didn't say anything to me. I started walking away. So, during this time, that's when Strawberritas and Limeritas first came out. First, it was just lime Ritas. It came in like the little small cans, and it was like real popular. Then the strawberries came out, and that took it to a whole different level. So, on top of our two liters of alcohol we had in our boo bag, we also had like small cans of strawberries in our boo bags. So, I was drinking that. Then the guys at the party was giving out lime Ritas. I was drinking that, and they had some little punch, but I ain't drinking so we on the inside. I'm drinking. I'm feeling good at this time. And they started playing slow music. So I see a guy go get a chair. He pulls it out. He's like, yeah, so who's going to give me a dance? You know me. I just got to show out. You know how it is when you go somewhere when you know you got a hater there or an ex there or somebody who don't like you. You want to show out. So I'm like, shoot, I don't know you, but I get a lot dance. I'm grinding and grinding and doing the most on this dude, okay? And so, after the song was over, me and Peaches ended up walking outside because DJ was out there getting into it with some girl that we had already got into it with at the club. And so, I'm at the point where she keep trying me. I feel like you trying my friends, so you trying me. That means you want to fight. So, I see Jackson walk up. He was like, hey, 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 y'all need to calm down. What's going on over here? I'm like, we good? He was like, y'all need to take her back home because she drunk. I'm like, first of all, don't worry about me. Worry about your little girlfriend. That's what you need to be worried about. Don't worry about if I'm drunk. Don't worry about what I'm doing. Or whatever, you know. He was like, you need to calm down. It was like, y'all good, X and Peaches and DJ. They like, yeah, we good, we good. He was like, all right, cool. That's my fake man voice. So he walks away or whatever. So I see this other dude that I used to talk to. So me and him used to talk for like two years on and off whenever me and Jackson wasn't together or wasn't on good terms. So I'm like, what you doing out here? Because you ain't tell me you was coming to this party. So he was like, you know, I'm just... <laughs> I here chilling, doing what I do. So mind y'all, he was a student at the school, but also a street pharmacist. So I'm like, boy, please, okay, whatever. I said, well, I'll see you later. You know, enjoy yourself. So he's like, I right, let me know when you get back on campus. I'm like, all right, cool. I'll let you know. So we continue to enjoy ourselves. We dancing all night. I'm dancing as hard as I can because I want to make sure that Jackson is looking and watching. And we finally get ready to leave because the party is over by now. We head back to campus. And DJ had her car parked at the student union. So, Peaches had left and went to, with her boyfriend, I assume. She used to do that a lot. I don't remember her after this. I get in the car with DJ and I see one of my sorority sisters in this dude. And so they were like, and it was a dude that I knew, you know, around campus. And they asked us if they can have a ride. So DJ asked them where they were going. And they told her, and she was like, well, I'm not really going that way. And so I'm like, girl, don't act like that. Get him a ride. And so she was like, no, I'm tired and I'm ready to go. I'm like, man, you ain't even kind of act like that. You can get him a ride. So she was like, right, cool. Because they were going the total opposite way from where she was going home to. So they get in the car. We all get in the car. So she starts driving down International Speedway. Mind you, Daytona has like one big main street, and that's International, and that's International Speedway. So we're driving down International Speedway, and I'm like, where are you going? And she was like, I'm going to go drop them off. I was like, okay, but we were already on campus. 
Why couldn't you just take me to my room since I was right there? And then you could have went and dropped them off. She was like, no, because these are your friends. And so if you want them to have a ride, you're going to sit in here with me and we're going to drop them off. So I'm like, girl, no, I am tired, okay? And I got to get up in the morning because I had to do somebody's hair. And so she was like, girl, you need to stop yelling at me because you can't get out of my car. And so I said, put me out like that right you know thinking this is my friend she is not gonna put me out on the side of the highway knowing that we far as heck from the school by now knowing that i've been drinking so i'm just drunk and talking at the side of my neck nah sister girl kicked me out that car on the side of the highway she pulls over Unlocked the door and was like, get out. I said, so you really going to kick me out? I got a trick for you. Okay. I get out the car. Thinking to myself, she ain't finna leave. She just going to kick me out and then she going to be like, girl, get back in this car. Stop showing out. Calm down. She ain't do that either. She sped off real fast she left my van right on the side of the road so by this time i'm like oh i'm left left i ain't got no choice now i started walking back towards the school so i'm walking towards the school walking towards the school I, and this is exactly how i feel like i was walking because i know i was drunk and i used to drink like that back in the day so i know i was like wobbling back and forth so, all of a sudden, I hear somebody like, Jira, Jira. So, my my head, I'm like, oh, she done came back. But I turned around, and it was some girl. Mind you, to this day, I cannot remember who that freaking girl was. She was like, I know her. She a RA. Jira, Jira. Girl, where you going? So, I'm like, I'm fine. Leave me alone. I'm going back to school. I'm going to the campus. I'm finna go to my room. So she was like, you want to ride? I'm like, no, I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm going to walk. I'm going to walk. So she was with two guys. So one of the guys get out the car. He came and picked me up. Because back in those days, I used to could get picked up. He put me in the car. And they drove me back to campus and took me to my room. So I get in my room. Passed completely out. Knocked out. Get up the next day, my client came, I started doing him. So after a while, I hear like a jiggle at my door. And then my door opened. And I look, who is it? Freaking DJ. She looked at me. I looked at her. And we both bust out laughing. We could not do anything but laugh. Because I knew I was in the freaking room. I knew I was drunk as heck. Selling out after I made her take my friends home way out of her way. So I couldn't even be mad at the girl. All I can do is freaking laugh. We just started laughing. And <laughs> she was just like, never again am I going to drop any of your friends off or have you in the car with me drunk like that again if you're going to keep selling out. So yeah, more of the story is. Don't get drunk and sell out to your friends when they doing you a favor. And then y'all on the road, on the highway, and you know you ain't got no other way home. Because that's way before Uber, Lyft, or anything like that. So, yeah. But, <laughs> that's the end of my story. Thank you guys for tuning in. And if you enjoyed this story time with me today, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to my channel. And make sure you hit that bell. That way you'll be notified every time I post new content. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Love you. And see you next time on Jira's Crazy World. Bye.